Seasick TV. Waverly Wednesday. What's up, YouTube? This is More Waves and Dude, aka Waverly. And you're tuned in to Seasick TV once again. Okay, like the last video I made was of me getting my first cut or whatever and showing my waves just after the first cut, pretty much. So I'm gonna show y'all, I just took my do rag off. I'm gonna show y'all my progress. It's been about a week, not even a whole week, you know, seven days. It's been about five days, four days. When did I get my haircut? Saturday? Yeah, it's been about four days, but the waves do look different to me, at least. So, put that up there. They look a little more defined and connected. That's the left side. The right side, you can see some waves coming in. You know, yeah. I don't know if you can see the back. But yeah, that's my way so far. And I plan on wolfing for a good minute in order to get my waves looking better. This shit bothers me right there. It's my widow's peak thingies, but I don't really, you know, whatever. So I'm gonna uh, go over my daily method with y'all. A lot of people say when they wake up, they do their method, but I don't. I do mine before I go to bed because when I wake up, I just brush and go. And when I do wake up, I take off the durag, take off the wave cap, and I brush with this recently bought soft brush, the Annie 2082. It's really soft, and yeah, I just started doing this since I got my hair cut. But my nightly routine would be, a lot of people say they don't dry brush, I dry brush to loosen up the way the curls so that they can get where they need to be in order to lay down in the right pattern. You know what I'm saying? So, I still brush, even though I just got a haircut, I still brush with a hard brush, but I, I tilt it. If you tilt it like this and brush like that, it pretty much gets you where you need to be. So you can still brush with a hard brush when you uh, get a fresh cut. I just tilt it to the side so I can actually brush it without tilting it, but yeah. Anyway, so I brush with the hard brush, nighttime method, brush with the hard brush. You know, get them all where they need to be, and then I put, what's in this bottle is this, Olive Oil, Most, Olive Oil Girls Moisturizing Lotion. It works better than the little green and white jar of olive oil or whatever it works better keeps your hair softer and more moisturized so in this bottle is this and water so i just spray my head get it pretty damp put it to the direction you want it to go blah blah, blah. you know Spray it on in, rub it on in. I rub mine in before I brush it because I feel like if you don't rub it in, it's not really getting into where it needs to be. Then I brush again with the hard brush until it's dried. I don't brush it again dry after I do this method, though. I don't brush it dry after I do this method. So. I catch it with the hard brush one good time around. And then I hit it with the soft brush. Soft brush makes it dry better, in my opinion. 
and hit it, hit it, hit it with the soft brush, hit it, hit it, hit it with the soft brush. My dude Pink was right because when you sing or dance while you brushing, the time just goes by so much faster. You know? That's just how it is. But yeah, I hit it with the soft brush all the way around. Then, since I haven't done this since the day I got my hair cut, my hair is like, it's more coarse than the other people on this channel, but it still tends to want to go the opposite way of what I want to go. So this part goes that way, these parts go that way, and the back goes up. So I do need this. And I've been watching Pretty Boy Shy and Pretty Boy Shay and um, Trubs. And they use mirrors for when their hair gets grown out. And I haven't used that yet, but I will try it this time because this does not hold my hair very well when it's cut. So, yeah, you take it, rub it in your hands. Put it in your hair. I'm not going to hit it with the hard brush this time because I just don't want to. It don't feel right. You know, I think waving in any other hairstyle, you have to feel things, certain things. And it just don't feel right for me to hit it with the hard brush right now. You know what I'm saying? So you brush it. Brush all of that in there. Make sure I see a lot of this. I don't. A lot of people have nice ass waves, but their middle, their crown has no waves. Like they waves are like way up here. So make sure you come from the crown and come back up. Even on your sides, make sure you come from the crown and come back up. And then the back. Make sure you come from the crown and go down. And the thing about the back is go all the way down when you're brushing. Like, it's okay to brush your neck a little bit. It's okay. It don't hurt. Just brush your neck. Because I've seen so many people where they don't have a drop of waves in the middle or at the back. So brush your shit all the way down. Then, so the pomade wouldn't be in my nightly routine, but since I haven't put any in there in about four days, I just put a little in. So minus that, this would be my nightly method. And so I take my do-rag, it's pre-tied, but it's been tied for about three days now, so I untie it when it gets loose. Put that bad boy on and tie it up. So I'm going to tie it too tight because you're going to cut off all circulation to your life. I hold the top part because it'll make your hair go backwards if you just pull it normal. So I hold the top part, fix that up. And a lot of people only put on one wave cap, but the difference is my one wave cap is the thickness of two. I don't know if y'all can see it, like you can't see through it very well at all. So this is like two wave caps. A lot of people only put on one and wonder why their hair is still fuzzy. Because if you remember, if you're a long time subscriber, when I first did my waves back in like 2008, I used to put a wave cap on first, then do rag, then wave cap. Now I just put on do rag and this wave cap because this one is the equivalent to two. And that bitch long as hell, like I told y'all in the other video. So I have to pull it all the way down, like I'm about to go rob somebody. And Fold it back up. 
<laughs> but yeah that's pretty much my nightly method and I have to fold this wave cap all kinds of ways because it don't be wanting to do what it needs to do see no more wrinkles but yeah You've been watching C6 TV. I'm more ways than do, aka Waverly, and I'll highlight y'all later.